Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, so today I'm going to be reacting to more absurd claims about the Quran by Christian apologists, Jesus and the Claire Bird Samuel Green. Uh, so that's what I'll be reacting to today. I'm very, very um, excited. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Do you speak any English? You were referring to many of us Caucasians as Englishmen. Um, I've been here for 200 years and I'm Australian, so I'm not an Englishman. That's just one other point there. So English is my mother tongue. So I'm a brown Englishman. So from that point of view, when I said Englishmen, English-speaking people, whether you are American, I say you are an Englishman, English-speaking person. From the language point of view, I'm describing the people, Englishmen. I guess that if you're saying that you're an Englishman, then I must be. No, I'm a brown Englishman. <laughs> And you people taught me English. You people taught me English. When we look at Jesus in the Quran, we see that it's not a picture of Tawhid. And, uh, and so we see that Jesus creates in exactly the same way that Allah creates. Look at Surah 3 verse 49 there. I, Jesus, have come to you with a sign from your Lord. I create for you out of clay the likeness of a bird then I breathe into it, and it will be a bird by the leave of God. Now, the Talhid of attributes says that we have the same attributes as God in name alone, but that God has a different type of attribute to us. But what we see Jesus doing here is exactly what God did when he created Adam. God made Adam from the dust of the earth. He breathed into him the breath of life, and Adam became alive. And Jesus does exactly the same thing. Now, this story comes from a book called Thomas, and it's a story about the Trinity and how Jesus is fully God. And so it has Jesus creating the way that Allah creates. Now, you may say, well, Jesus only does this by God's permission, but that doesn't actually solve the problem for the Muslim because creating is a unique attribute that defines God. It's a unique attribute that defines God. And... When Jesus does what only defines God, well, then that's putting Jesus into the category of God in some way. It's certainly not Tawhid of attributes. Islam deifies Jesus without even realizing it. Jesus goes on to create life in exactly the same way Allah creates life. Allah fashions a man out of clay and then breathes his spirit into it. What does Jesus do? He fashions a clay bird and then breathes his spirit into it. And this gives life. Jesus is co-creator. This is a type of sickness. You see, they have developed a sickness. Jesus creates in exactly the same way that Allah creates. Tell me one scholar in the history of Islam who said that. This is a lie. This is a lie. This is a lie. Say that one more time. One more time. I want to know whether you understand English. Say that one more time. By God's permission. One more time. By God's permission. One more time. And it will be a bird by the leave of God. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? No, no, no. Thank you. 
Now, you may say, well, Jesus only does this by God's permission, but that doesn't actually solve the problem for the Muslim because creating is a unique attribute that defines God. The Lord of hosts will do battle for us. Behold his mighty hand. فَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَىٰ أَنِ اضْرِبْ بِعَصَاكَ الْبَحْرَ فَانْفَلَقَ فَكَانَ كُلُّ فِرْقٍ كَالطَّوْدِ الْعَظِيمِ One more time. The Lord of hosts will do battle for us. One more time. Behold his mighty hand. Say that one more time. See, man, see. Can't you see? One more time. Okay, okay. Jesus creates in exactly the same way that Allah creates. Jesus is co-creator. A, a gross, gross, gross mistranslation and misunderstanding of the Quran by a Christian apologists. We need to stop misinterpreting okay. or saying things about the Quran that's not true okay. to justify or try to authenticate the Bible. This is what happens. Allah describes it to us in the Holy Quran. When truth is hurled against falsehood, it knocks out its brains. It knocks out its brains. Kawabunga. Rasulan ila bani Israel anni qad ji'tukum bi ayatin min rabbikum anni akhluqu lakum min at-tin ka hay'ati at-tayr fa anfuqu fihi fa yakunu tayran bi'idnillah wa ubri'u al-akmaha wal abrasa wa uhil mawta bi'idnillah wa unabbi'ukum bima ta'kuluna wa ma tadakhiruna fi buyutikum Inna fi dhalika la ayatan lakum in kuntum mu'mineen La 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 Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Don't nobody understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, man La 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 It's the shade at the end of the video that's uh amusing um let me see what can i say of course people are going to choose to misunderstand you especially if they come from a different religion than you because they believe their religion may be the better religion or maybe the truth and that's common but um i always say we should look for the good things in each religion that we should all accept and say yes this is it this is relating and this this that but also for the differences i feel like differences should put us together if anything like let me bring my differences please help me understand what this meant because this the way this has been put and the way i feel like the muslims are trying to explain it and the way the christians are trying to explain it I see where the confusion is because um, with the way the genesis of life starts like the way he breathed God breathed the way God breathed into Adam to give life and then Jesus does it so someone is actually going to say that was God too because he did exactly what God did even if it's through God's power that he did it, he still did it the way God did it. And that remains some sort of fact to some people. 
so how best can you help someone understand that despite him doing this he was directed or given that power to actually persecute this thing without um trying to make someone feel dull or whatever it is it, it is that people would want others to feel or believe in otherwise um i'm sure there's a better way to explain this to people so that they understand anyway let me know what you guys actually think what are your thoughts what do you have to say about this how do you feel about people that actually believe jesus is god for doing the same thing god did or you feel otherwise let me know down below please feel free to comment down below suggest stuff for me to react to i will appreciate make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video